Hi there, I'm John from cncri.com and today we're going to make a custom log cabin birdhouse. I have extensive uh, fruit and root and vegetable gardens all around my house. And now that it's the summertime, we're starting to get quite a few bugs. So there's a few ways to solve that problem. One is to put pesticides all over my garden, which I never do, or to build a whole bunch of custom birdhouses like this here and have the birds come and do the, my job for me. Now this is a log cabin birdhouse, as you can see, it's that kind of look. But it's all made just using a three quarter inch plywood. And this is actually my prototype. Uh, so I had to work out a couple of kinks on the design wise using my CNC router that you see behind me here. Now there's an infinite number of custom uh, birdhouse designs that I could have came up with. Um, this is the one I like the most because I'm partial to log cabin houses. And I thought it'd be really cool to have a bird in here, you know, year round, charge them rent and give them lots of food. Now you might be wondering, why did I use my CNC router to produce this over the other machinery I have in here in the shop? Now the most obvious one to use is actually just power tools. And this is quickly done just with a table saw. And just for a prototype, that's fine. But I want to make about six to 10 of these and I don't feel like spending all day on a table saw. So using a CNC router is definitely the more efficient use of my time because basically after I do the design and it's proofed out like this prototype, uh, then I just basically copy and replace, make them over and over and over again. And they're all identical, which is also something that I wanted. Now I also have a CNC laser and actually one of the pieces here broke. I'll show it to you. That's one of the drawbacks from using a CNC router is that it is a contact method and because of that, I had my hole a little bit too large and I didn't have enough support material holding it. So as soon as it started vibrating uh, in the machine, it just exploded. And this is what you end up with. Save myself some time. I just cut another one out using regular pine. This is three quarter inch maple plywood and this is pine. Can't really tell the difference. But you can see here the darkness and that's from the laser cutting. Uh, laser cutting is a non-contact method which makes making holes basically any size I want just as efficiently. Now, why didn't I laser cut all of this out? The main reason is because of time. This guy will fly through plywood while the laser will be like a turtle slowly going through it, going layer by layer. I also have a CNC plasma cutter. Um, if I use that for this, all I'd end up was with uh, burned wood and I wouldn't be able to create an arc because there's no metal in this. Uh, same issue with the water jet. Um, everything would be wet and it would just be, I don't, I don't know, Wet plywood tends to warp on you, so it's not a good idea. Um, so again, use either power tools, which I don't really have the time for, but I do have, or using my CNC router. Now, as mentioned before, our CNC router is a contact method, meaning the tool actually touches the material that it's working on. And that's fantastic for a lot of applications. But when it comes to making stuff like this here, you need to create support material. And support material is, you know, if I'm just cutting this out here, I need to make something on the side to hold it in place while I cut other pieces. Otherwise, as you saw with the front part, 
um, they're just going to fly off across the shop because their router is spinning really, really fast and it doesn't stop for anybody or anything. Now after I did all of that, the next step was just to remove all of the support materials and that's easily done just with a typical sander. Um, the results are just, fan just fantastic with that so you can't even tell I ever had support material anywhere on this. And now the final step was actually just assembly. Um, again, I was thinking about using screws, but I just got out the nail gun and it's an incredibly efficient way to put stuff together. You put a bit of glue, you nail it down with the nail gun, you go next, 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 next. And within a few minutes, you basically have a completely held together uh, log cabin birdhouse that doesn't require anything else to be done to it. Now, the only other change I did was I needed to add this dowel here for this. I had this dowel laying around in the shop for a while, so this is a good use for it. But I'm going to modify the design because, again, this is just a prototype uh, so that everything comes as uh, everything's cut at the same time. So I don't need any dowels or anything else.
So if you're looking for custom birdhouses, custom whatever, made out of any material, any size, any shape, any design, contact me at cncri.com and I'll make it for you. <laughs>